Hello and welcome to Soda Anonymous. I'm your host, Soda Anonymous. Today's episode, I'm going to talk about Coca Cola Zero Sugar Orange Vanilla Flavor. All right, well, first off, uh, this is going to be a part two. Um, so, in the previous video, uh, I talked about the regular orange vanilla, um, which had just come out. Um, this is the zero variety. Um, I wanted to get it, you know, for that video, but unfortunately it was unavailable, you know, uh, where I lived. Um, but it's here now, um, only a couple of days later, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try out the, uh, the zero version and see how it tastes. Um, first things first, I want to say, uh, I really like this, um, these colors on this can. Um, the big red splotch aside, which I've already sort of uh, given my distaste for, um, I do really like the sort of um, tiger stripe look. Um, it's kind of like, uh, it reminds me of Nike um, or like Tony the Tiger, like earn your stripes. It's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty cool looking. But anyway, um, yeah, there's not much of an intro. I don't really have the fun facts. If you want to know more about this drink and, uh, and the regular variety, watch the first part. Um, but let's pop this open and give it a test. Sounds good. Let's give it a pour here. I'm excited to give this a shot. Um, I wonder how different it's going to be, the zero version. There it is, standard Coca-Cola color. Nothing surprising there. Let's give it a whiff. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm just kind of thinking about it here. It smells pretty similar. Um, the orange almost smell, smells a little bit more artificial, a little bit more like, um, like a Fanta. Um, it's got a hint of that twang that makes it a little bit more natural than a Fanta, um, that I mentioned in the, in the regular review. Um, but it's definitely smells a lot more like a standard orange soda. I'm getting almost no cream, um, whereas on the regular, I got like a hint of cream under the orange. Um, this is nearly imperceptible. Um, this is also not as strong of a smell as the regular version. I kind of got to get up in there in order to smell it, uh, whereas the regular was just sort of blasting me with, uh, with orange. But... Um, it smells fairly close, a little bit less strong, and like I said, a little bit more artificial. I can't get any Coke out of that. Um, it just smells like orange soda, really. Um, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if that's going to come through in the taste. So uh, let's give it a shot. This is a blind tasting. Uh, Coca-Cola Zero Sugar Orange Vanilla going down. That's weird. That's really strange. So it It's a really strange combo. Um, basically, um, orange is by far um, the predominant flavor. Um, I really have to stretch to find any vanilla, any cream, any of that aspect to it. The orange almost completely blocks the Coca-Cola flavor. All that's left is um, a little bit of the tinges um, of the artificial sweetener at the end. Um, so it's like a chemical aftertaste. And 
it's missing much of the floor, um, sort of the, the Coke base that left the regular version um, so interesting and so distinct from a normal orange soda. This just tastes like a slightly more bitter than usual um, Fanta with a chemical aftertaste. And that's not, you know, that's not the nicest thing uh, to say about um, a soda, but it's not as terrible as I'm making it sound. Um, it's just that's what I'm getting from it. Yeah, it just seems like the bitter taste of the orange um, is sort of at odds with the weaker Coke flavor that's in a Coke Zero Sugar, and it's completely masking it rather than complementing it like it did in the regular version. Um, so really, you're just getting a bitter hit on initial bite, um, and then as it dissipates, you're getting the worst part of Coke Zero Sugar, which is the aftertaste. So it's like the worst of both worlds almost. It's you bitter in, sickly sweet out. Um, I think a Diet Coke fan might find themselves more at home with this. Um, and the only reason I'm saying that is because Diet Coke is more of like a bitter um, sort of, you know, you enjoy it because it's gross, kind of like how you would enjoy hard liquor or, or, or something to that effect. You, you kind of like the, the bitterness of it. Um, this has that sort of adult drink taste. Um, it might go good with some alcohol, um, just, you know, because it's got a bit of that bitters. But um, I don't think I'd buy this again. All right, let's compare this to the regular now. I've got the regular. Um, unfortunately, uh, I'd like to get it in the same container if possible, um, but the, uh, the store only had zero. And, um, you know, I, I had some left over from part one, so I figured I'd use this. Uh, it should taste about equivalent. All right. Let's pop this one open. I'm gonna drink some water first. Oh, I should mention something funny. Now that I've brought up the store, I actually bought this this morning. And um, while I was there, the Coke guy was there stacking them up. And uh, he goes, oh, it's so good. You know, which is a nice thing to do for your company. But he goes, you can't even taste the diet at all. And to that I'd say, uh, I think you're stretching it a little bit there, but, uh, but that's all right. That's all right. I, I appreciate the excitement for your product. Oh yeah. That's just so much better. That's interesting. Let me try this again. All right, so the, there's a lot of subtle differences between these two, um, more than I expected. So the interesting thing is the orange hit is way stronger on the, uh, the zero sugar. Um, it might just be because the Coke is so much weaker that it is pronounced more, but when I drink the zero sugar variety, the orange is very strong and sort of overpowering. Um, and you got to kind of pick up the pieces to find the rest, um, you know, besides the chemical aftertaste. With this, you get a nice orange, and the orange um, is strong um, and, and good, but it's, it's less overpowering. So it's got the creamy complement underneath. Yeah, you can definitely perceive the cream, whereas with this, 
yeah, it just tastes like artificial sugar. So if someone just called this Coca-Cola Zero Sugar Orange, I'd believe them. Um, this, I'd say, oh, there's a little something else. And, uh, and that would be the, the orange or cream. Or vanilla, as they call it. I, I would say it tastes a little bit more like cream than vanilla bean. Um, but I suppose they say vanilla because uh, you'd more readily associate it with an existing Coca-Cola product, Coca-Cola vanilla. Yeah, it's... Um, uh, otherwise, the difference would be the nice Coke floor, like a red carpet, for the orange vanilla to shine um, comes through in the regular variety. Um, and, and with the zero sugar, it's just, it takes away from it significantly. Um, and I think zero sugar is, uh, regular zero sugar um, is, a, is a pretty pretty good diet beverage. I don't think orange zero sugar um, is the right move. Instinctually, where I would have taken orange um, would be the diet line. Like I said, the diet community is mostly um, people who like the more bitter stuff, the less sweet, the little bit more adulty taste, the more, um, you know, uh, little, little ick. They like a little ick in their, in their drink. Um, and I think the bitter taste of the orange uh, would fare better there. Now, in their recent releases of Diet Coke variants, um, there is a, I think it's called Zesty Blood Orange. There is an orange version there um, that I'm going to try for you later down the line. Um, but, uh, you know, which is probably the reason why there isn't Diet Orange Vanilla right now. Um, but, yeah, I think releasing it with zero was a bad move. Um, it's simply not a good soda. Um, so if you're, uh, if you're interested in an orange Coke, um, definitely go for the regular version. Um, you know, if you're, if you're concerned about, uh, about calories, then, uh, then plan, you know, your, your meals around it. If you really want to give it a shot. Um, this does not do the concept justice. Um, I really wouldn't recommend this to most people. Um, like I said, if you're a big diet, um, Coke drinker, um, maybe give it a shot just to, uh, just to try a little something different. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's, it's just bitter and then sickly sweet. Not a good combo. All right. Let me think here. I'm going to give it a four out of 10. Um, I don't think it's quite as gross as, uh, as some of the variants that I've liked less, like Diet Coke or Diet Coke with Splenda. Um, but I could not put my recommendation on this. Um, I think if you're gonna try this new line, go for the regular, do yourself a favor, this is a good soda. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm probably gonna buy more of these. I'd love to drink this on the beach. I also wanna put some rum in here and all sorts of things. So I got some plans for this one. This is probably going to be the last time I drink it. I might, eh, maybe I'll reach for some more. It's probably going to go in the trash. Um, I'm probably not going to drink more of this. Um, I don't like it. I don't hate it. It's not absolutely disgusting to me. But it's just, it's not what I want. Um, the... Uh, the artificial sweetener tastes worse in this than it does with the regular Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. So I think Coca-Cola Zero Sugar fans are going to be disappointed with this uh, variant. But anyway, um, that about wraps it up. Um, that sort of gets my opinions out there. Um, have you guys had the Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla with the, with the Zero Sugar or the, the regular variants? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you've tried this test, let me know if you think that, you know, maybe I'm being a little too hard on it. Maybe, uh, maybe you think they're both gross. I know some people don't, you will try the regular and they don't like it. Um, I think this has a specialty purpose. 
in the sense that it's a uh, it's a little bit more of a, a bitter, sophisticated, but enjoyable Coca-Cola beverage. And I think this really doesn't have much of a purpose. Um, I would rather, um, I, I would think, right, I'm not a diet soda uh, diet Coke drinker. I will drink diet soda on, on occasion, but I'm not a diet Coke drinker. But I'm perceiving that if you, if you are falling into the diet Coke camp, you're not going to be happy with this. If you're falling into the Coke Zero camp, you're not going to be happy with this. And if you generally fall into the regular camp and you want to try to be a little healthier, you're, you're definitely not going to be happy with this. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you got to do. And uh, yeah, I hope I see you next time. Have a good day.